What did we learn from 2008 when you were in the Treasury Department, and how is that being applied today? There are two big mistakes when I look back at 2008 that we made that I think are relevant today. Number one, we were always too slow and too timid in responding to the crisis. The reason is we didn't know how bad it was going to get, and we didn't want to overreact. And it turned out it got really, really bad, and the right answer should have been overreacting to try to avoid the devastating recession that we ended up happening. So today, whether it's health care policymakers, fiscal policymakers, which means Congress or the Federal Reserve, we should all be erring on the side of overreacting to try to avoid the worst economic outcomes. And number two, in 2008, we tried to be very targeted in helping homeowners, only helping homeowners who needed a little bit of help because a lot of Americans were angry at the thought of their neighbor getting a bailout for being irresponsible, or so they thought. So we tried to target our programs. It ended up we didn't help very many people. We would have been much better off if we had been much more generous in our support for homeowners, deserving and not deserving, we would have had a less serious crisis. So my advice to Congress as they're designing their programs to help workers and help small businesses, err on being generous. When America gets back to work, how long does it take to recover from this? You know, the economy can bounce back fairly quickly. It's the workers that take time. I mean, that's the, one of the other lessons from 2008. It took more than 10 years to put America fully back to work relative to where they were before the crisis. 10 years. And so that's what we have to try to avoid, having these mass layoffs. We, we can't have another 10-year recovery.